Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is three five minute rounds in the lightweight division. Introducing your first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of seven wins and five losses. He stands 188 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 70.5 kilograms. Representing IFS MMA Belfast by the way of Poland. Give it up for Magic Magic Man Gershevsky! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 12 wins and nine losses. He stands 173 centimeters tall and weighs already 70.7 kilograms. Representing the incredible fighting and fitness center in the Philippines. Give it up for Rolando D. Incredible D. Much taller height advantage goes to Magic Gershevsky. Let's see if he tries to utilize that by fighting on the outside and pity part with his jab. I do not think he's going to do that. I think we know exactly what we're going to see from both these men. And there is a palpable air of anticipation in this fight. Phil, this fight could end in seconds. Magic a little bit lighter on the feet. It seems like Rolando's the one that wants to plant the feet a little bit more. A little faint from Rolando. And usually in situations like this, it's... He's, oh, Rolando he's in, D. that's what we called it! Rolando D with the takedown. Good takedown defense being shown by Magic Gerzuski. He pops up quicker than a powered up Pac-Man. Phil, huge moment for the Magic Man. If he can keep this fight standing, I think it is to his advantage. And you can see he's got that heavy overhook. A little bit of wrist control. He may try and pop down on that wizard and escape. Trip takedown denied by Rolando D. Denied Phil because of the head positioning. D incredible, very intelligently doing a little giraffe fighting in there, keeping his opponent's head exactly where he wants it so he can drop down on the hips when he sees the opportunity. Majek needs to split that base just a little bit more for my liking as he's quite upright here. And you can see he's trying to turn in towards his opponent, maybe utilize an underhook. And I think we've seen, we now see the game plan of Rolando D. He doesn't want to spend too much time in the opener area, trading with Magic Gershevsky. Few men would, Phil. And now he's trying to drop down and get in on a single. Nice little pot shot elbows from Gershevsky. Those elbows are very intelligent, Phil. They can hurt if the head stays down there. Otherwise, it forces the head up, and the takedown is no longer there. That's a Nice stinging elbow being thrown by Rolando D. Magic needs to be careful of dropping that lead hand when he throws that kick. D incredible on D attack. And it'll be interesting to see just what sort of a game plan Rolando implements given that he did struggle to make the weight. Again, in on again. the takedown. Good defense being shown. That's huge for Magic Phil, this give The Magic Man huge confidence. He does believe he can keep this fight standing where he wants it to be. Nice job and move from Majek Gershevsky. And let's not forget, D Incredible has some big hands of his own. And the game plan seems to be attack the leg of Rolando. Maybe if he's trying to wrestle, take a little bit of pop out of that lead leg. Big looping shot there from Rolando. Halfway point, big, big leg. Big, big shot lands. Immediate redness on that thigh of D Incredible. Oh, nice front kick from Magic there, just to make his opponent aware that when he comes in, there will be shots being thrown at him. The lateral movement of Magic against the, the static plodding offense of Rolando D. And nice work to the body and then to the head from Rolando. Very intelligent strategy by the Magic Man to throw, throw those low leg kicks. It's gonna, it can pay dividends in setting up a head kick, but if you do the exact same attack too many times in the sport, you eat leather. I like the way that Mazek's always giving him different looks, always trying to move. He's, n he's not being a stationary target, but Rolando close with that head kick, just grazed the beard. Again, takedown attempted from Rolando. Mazek doing everything he can to try and stay upright, does so. And you have to wonder with the frequency of takedowns that Rolando's been throwing, 
how much will that impact upon his cardio if he had a difficult cut, Kirik? It, exactly. Oh, big shot landed by Rolando. Magic just eats it. Shows that not only is his beard prim and pristine, but it can also take a punch. It's got the Polish power and landed a fourth low kick. Rolando just seems to be pawing, trying to, trying to find an opening. I think D Incredible wants to land some body shots to try and even up what he thinks may be a disadvantage he holds right now in terms of endurance. If he can land some clean shots to the body, it's money in the bank that can pay off in the third round. I'd like to see Maje keep those hands just a little bit higher. Because when he's coming in, he's charging down recklessly a little bit. But again, what an exciting, tense matchup here in our first professional bout at Brave Combat Federation 42. 30 seconds, Phil. These two fighters have taken the measure of each other. I think they each know what's going to happen. The question is, knowing the other fighter's strategy, can they take advantage of it? Again, both fight are merely a whisker away from landing something. Expect to see D let loose with big hands if a kick comes in and to continue attacking that body. Both fighters throw kicks. Again, Rolando in with the takedown. Beautiful sprawl from the magic man. The Maz Woo! Mazik Man showing that he is not just a power puncher, but he also has some fantastic takedown defense. Round in. Let's play Judge Phil. Who do you like in that round? Well, if you look back at the replay here, you do see the greater offensive wrestling being implemented by Rolando, but for me, the, the, the more active striking was done for Mazik or Shevsky. So a round like that really is anybody's guess, Kurt. I couldn't agree more, Phil. I think it's going to come down to the, the honest opinion of each of these three judges at cage side as to whether they value wrestling more or striking more. And that's that's not to take anything away from the incredible striking. He did throw some good body shots. He was attempting some high kicks. And of course, we saw some incredible anti-wrestling from the Magic Man, okay. Magic Kishevsky. It'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments Magic makes going into the second line. Does he almost feign the uppercut? Does he show that he has knees in his locker just to try and let Rolando know that should he try and come in with that takedown, he has an attack there waiting to be uncorked. I think we are going to see a Rolando D takedown in fairly short order. To counter that, I'd actually like to see the Magic Man throw a knee early just to give his opponent pause for thought about level changing and getting in on those hips. Magic Man looking just a little more aggressive. I think he realized there's, he's not sure whether we run that round or not. He's going to turn it up a notch, try and take this round clearly. And again, if he keeps throwing that low kick, he's going to keep eating counter shots. Head kick attempt there by Rolando. And Magic needs to be careful when he's throwing these kicks. It seems like Rolando's trying to get the timing on those kicks and come over the top with either an overhand or a high hook. Also needs to be wary of not chasing Rolando and running into a shot. There we go. Very nice shifting attack. That's what we need to see more of from the Magic Man. Success in this sport with striking can, can play against you. If something works, you keep doing it, and you keep doing it, and it works until it doesn't work. Nice shot down the meadow from Rolando. Again, every time those low kicks come in from the Magic Man, he's going to eat a shot. Rolando D has his number in terms of timing when those low kicks come in. So what would you suggest then, Kirk? The likes of fake the that, sh that the shift in the hook I thought was fantastic that we saw earlier. So fake the leg kick, try and stunt the, the rhythm and come in almost a pulse in as opposed to just waiting in. But both these men can take a shot, Kirk. These are high, high level professional fighters. Oh! Beautiful timing on that kick from Majek. Just catches his opponent coming in, whips the leg out from underneath him. Again, this, this fight is a fight that many people thought potentially could be fight of the night. Phil, I think D is very wisely marshalling his energy. He's holding back just a little bit here, knowing that because of that cut, because taking this fight on short notice, he doesn't have as much in the gas tank as he'd like to. Both men clash shins. And again, Magic getting caught when he comes in with that kick. 
needs to start mixing it up a little bit. It does seem that Rolando has the timing off those kicks now from Maciej Gershevsky. Phil, we've both seen the Magic Man's heavy, heavy body, body attacks on the inside. Another strategy if I was in his corner would be to suggest he tie his opponent up, try and soften his body from the inside rather than staying in the outside. And we've seen that Maciej can wrestle. He's also a very good offensive wrestler. Out of Actually, a, a fairly decent BJJ practitioner. He just chooses to engage in these kinds of stand and trade wars. As I said, absolutely. This is a fighter who, by choice, not by necessity, relies on those big fists. He likes to knock people out, and that's what you're watching right here. Maze just looks, maybe cuts a somewhat frustrated figure. Doesn't seem to be to be able to get in on those hands. But again, good defense and lands a, a nice shot. Nice back and forth. On the break. Very intelligent. Oh, big hand from Rolando D. Magic again just shakes it off. Looks his opponent as if to say, is that all you have? Another big wild hook landed by Rolando. Phil, if we see D go into that leg shot again, we saw a very intelligent stand up into a hook. I think you're gonna see that again. He's realized now that leg shot isn't working for him, but when it gets denied, he's gonna use that leg shot to set up another attack. Very, very intelligent. High level, chain fighting. Oh, and he's... Again, those leg kicks are adding up for Magic. I'd like to see him follow the, the leg kicks up, or as we said, fake the leg kick, come up high. Almost counter the counter from Rolando. That shift into the hook is really what I'd like to see more of out of Magic. Trying to land those low kicks in from the outside. It, it does feel good when they land, but it sure doesn't feel good when they don't. Nice little short hook there from Magic. Just after those winging shots from Rolando D, who again, is only ever one punch away from knocking an opponent out. Oh, beautiful Third leg time. kick from Magic. Excellent job by Magic. You can see that these fighters develop. They're learning from each other. They're, they're developing a better sense of timing. That's the third time he made his opponent drop down from that inside low kick. And this fight is incredibly entertaining for not the reasons we necessarily thought it would be. There was an expectation that these men would meet in the middle and just swing wild, but we're also seeing just how intelligent their all-round mixed martial arts game just how technical they can be as strikers. Absolutely, Phil. This is mixed martial arts. Short time now. Does Rolando try and get in for that takedown like he did, but a nice counter hook again coming over the top. Nice short elbow, defends the takedown. If anything, if that round was even closer than the round that preceded it. Phil, I saw both fighters taking note of each other, making necessary adju adjustments, as you said. Very, very close. I'm giving D the edge in that round. Break down the Green Hill replay for us, if you would. As you can see, both men are landing strikes. Mazek, when he landed his kicks clean, was able to drop his opponent. However, when they didn't quite land flush, he was eating that counter straight down the pipe from his opponent. Rolando trying to mix things up with the takedowns. That was, that was perhaps for me the most telling strike that's landed in this fight, Kirk. That it massive was, leg kick. Phil, what was so wonderful for me as I saw it was because the technique, the, the, the thing that made that possible was set up through throwing shots. It's learning live. This isn't something that was done in the gym. This is something that was learned under the pressure of the global lights. Very, very impressive improvement in the Magic Man's performance. So moving into the third and final round here at Brave Combat Federation 42, Gershevsky versus D. Can either of these combatants make an exclamation mark upon this fight and prevent it from going into the hands of the judges? Phil, my advice to D in this round is be very, very careful. I think Magic knows he may be down a round and he's even more dangerous when he's scared. I can't see whether the hands are together yet. They're not quite, but he's trying to pick at that angle. Has the hands together on a high crotch. How much does Rolando D have left in the tank? Excellent counter wrestling by the Magic Man. And I think Magic has to break off and create a little bit of distance and land some strikes here. D clearly winning that giraffe wrestling head fight, which is vital to the fight up against the cage. Yeah, this is not where Magic Gershevsky wants to be. And potentially the Magic Man may need to pull a rabbit out of the hat 
in this third and final round. Magic Man's sucking hard a little bit. He obviously loves striking, getting forced up against that cage, not where he wants to be. And if you consider it, it was a, that's fairly intelligent from Rolando D. Try and get the big power punch striker to engage, fill those muscles up with lactic acid so that the arms feel a little bit heavier and you can't get your shots off. Phil, absolutely, we are seeing veteran, veteran tactics from D. Incredible. Majek keeping that lead hand quite low. Majek stalking. D circling wisely, not backing straight up. And look at the marking up of the leg of Rolando D. Again, going up top is Rolando D. Majek completely unfazed by it. Huge respect to the Magic Man for brutalizing that calf and huge respect for D Incredible for still walking on it. Trying to work the body, gets clipped a little bit as he comes in. Majek a little bit of a wry smile at his opponent. Realizes he's coming into the halfway point. Oh! That's a big shot from Telling Majek. Telling shot, man. The Incredible shakes it off, but you know what, you know, Phil, when you see a guy shake his head, it actually means, yeah, that hurt. Oh, another big overhand from Magic. He's trying to find that one punch header quitter. He's trying to get that home run. But again, good work from Magic there, defending the takedown, bringing the level of Rolando up. And now it seems that Magic is kind of trying to download the, the data he has been given over rounds one and two and is trying to counter the strikes of Rolando D. That's perfectly put, Phil. Both these fighters have upped their game over the last 10 plus minutes, and they're gonna try and capitalize it on this, the final two minutes of this fight. Again, Rolando goes high with the kick, and it doesn't quite get through the guard, but again, those kinds of uh, high kicks with that shin just careering into the arms can cause damage. We have seen fighters uh, leave with broken forearms from defending head kicks. Magic Man fainting a shift, catches a shot. Nice stiff job being thrown there by both men. Entering the final 90 seconds of the bout. Can either fighter really pull away and leave? <laughs> <laughs> that's sportsmanship, that's camaraderie. I think both men may be in that headspace where they know they need to put on the foot on the gas just a little bit. One minute, Phil. I do believe this fight can be won or lost in the next 60 seconds. Mazek just trying to find that entry. <laughs> punches and bunches is what Magic may need in, in this moment. Dean on the single. Again, good takedown defense, but with 30 seconds left in the round, this is bound to frustrate Magic Gershevsky. Gashevsky throwing that little elbow from the top. D moved his head up to deny him the leverage to do so, but it did take away from getting that single. Right Spinning now. elbow attempt. Didn't quite land, but 20 seconds left. This really comes down to who wants it more, gentlemen. Short time now. 10 seconds left. Will we see a big shot being landed? Magic Magic trying, to, trying to catch him, trying to wing that punch. Oh, Time! what a battle, what a fight from both men. No one, including myself, thought that this fight would go the distance. But here we are after three rounds of frenetic mixed martial arts action. That is the type of fight that will only serve to enhance the reputation of both men. Phil, with good reason, both fighters are confident that they won this fight. I am calling right now a split decision. I can't tell you who the win is for. If I had to lean one way or the other, it might be for D Incredible, but I really think this one is a split decision. You see the losing stance is just in the replay. Rolando with the intelligent wrestling to stall the fight just a little bit. Fighters feel right now, waiting all this time this, this is to hear the judge's decision.
This is perhaps more anxious. This, you feel more anxious in this moment than you do initially stepping into the cage. Indeed, Phil. Because Indeed. you don't know. It comes down to it comes down to interpretation. You just don't know how somebody viewed the fight. This comes down to the interpretation of the three judges sitting cage side. And Phil, whichever way this fight goes, you can make a reasonable argu argument for it. There's no mess ups here on the judges' part. The Roaring Lion is making his way into the cage, which means we have an official decision. Referee calls fighters into the middle. Carlos Kramer, put us out of our misery, make it official. All right, Brave Nation, what a battle we had inside the Brave 42 cage. Both of these athletes going at it hard, and we go after three rounds to the judges' scorecard. Your first judge scores about 29-28, Rolando D. Your second judge scores about 29-28, Gershevsky. And your third judge scores about 30-27 for your winner by split decision. Fighting out of the red corner, out of the Philippines, Rolando D. Incredible!